Ready to play players, please? Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Marina Ilyinskaya, Ukraine. On my left, Arundhati Pantawani, India. Arundhati Pantawani to serve, love all, play. And welcome back, it's uh, women's singles time. Kirsty's ears pick up, pick up when I say that. Uh -huh. And uh, we've got uh, in the yellow and sort of orangey graduation oh, on her shirt from India. You say it. <laughs> Aaron Tati Panantawane. That's near enough. We call her by her first name. Tawane, yeah. Yeah, and I've seen her loads of times and I still can't pronounce it. It's just one of those ones that stifles me. Doesn't run off the tongue. No. Against uh, the young Ukrainian junior. Still junior, uh, junior wow. yeah, Marina Ilinskaya, coached by Dimitro Zavatsky, uh -huh. uh, sitting behind her in her coach's chair. I saw them training in the hall the other day. Yeah, um, she was looking like a she looks like a strong girl. Strong, technically quite strong. good, but still uh, uh, there's a lot of naivety uh, still in her play. It's all in. Um, sure. I just I saw her two years, three years ago, and before she played in uh, the Czech Open. All in can be great. All in, you know, will will win you games when it comes yeah, to crunch yeah. time if you can execute. But in order for you to get to crunch time, three, yeah, you have yeah, to be yeah. able to put in the consistent play and almost the boring stuff. That's mm. um, you have to learn to be boring and inject excitement, uh, excitement, yeah. rather than just be excitable all the time. Um, I'm still Service over. working on One, that. One, three. <laughs> this young Ukrainian, she's a hard worker. It's, yeah. again, off court, it's all in, uh, which is even Service more uh, encouraging. Definitely. Because, Four. you know, if you can get a good girl who can work hard, you know, that girl can certainly, you know, go a long way. That's something you can't teach. You can yeah. teach all the technique and the tactics in the world, but if someone doesn't want to work very hard, mm -hmm. then you're not going to get very far in the... In singles especially, I'd say, just because the, Five, the physical one. element is going through the roof, especially for the ladies um, and the youngsters coming through. They really have to know that and they have to be invested in that. So I think she's just recently turned 18. Played in Bilbao, I think went went a couple of rounds okay. in, the, in the singles and came up against <laughs> an Asian. Uh, as one does. As one does. Yeah. Always tough for the juniors. Uh, Service over. At the kind of world championships, like mm -hmm. we said the other Two. day, is just we don't have the numbers compared to to Asia. Yeah. But I think uh, a few key quality players. Um, you know, only take only takes one or two to break the the kind of hold that the Asians seem to have over oh. the world junior podium. Yeah, yeah. Seven, two. And certainly with Ilin Skaya, you know, she still has the physique of a junior. You know, there's still a lot of development to c to come her way. You can see it. Uh, there's still a lot more power to come in those legs and be developed in those legs. Definitely. I think it's quite... Um, I think yesterday I said that um, there's quite a big jump from, like, boys to men. Yeah. And maybe the gra the it's a bit more gradual for women mm. to girls, but actually I think boys Three, are... Seven. Becoming, you know, the boys are 
developing so much earlier now. Kind of seven, it's huge. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen-year-olds, you know, like Anders Antonsen is, uh, you know, huge. Yeah. And um, he can compete with the men. Four. I remember one, one from your era, uh, uh, Yartsev. Do you remember oh, Anatoly right. Yartsev? Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I remember. He had the big beer when he was when he was fifteen. Yes, <laughs> and also a Turkish boy, Emre Lale. Oh, Lale, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. He, yeah, full beard, <laughs> under nineteen European juniors. Yeah. Um, ever, I remember him beating Victor Axelsson in the team event. Correct. Uh, under seventeen Never European over. juniors when mm-hmm. we were in Medvod in Slovenia. Yeah. Eight. Um, Five. I Victor not taking that very well. I won't <laughs> delve into the details. Yeah. But uh, he definitely exacted his revenge in the in the individual event mm-hmm. <laughs> um, when he beat Yar Seven. Then, but yeah, I think uh, I know my development six. in the last kind of eight few, you know, four, five, six years. You know, I've developed in strength and and power, and I think yeah, that is definitely still still to come for this mm-hmm. young Ukrainian. But. The difference, you know, you've got a huge team behind you. You've got, you know, Sports Scotland or whatever they're called. What is it called? Sports Scotland Institute of, Institute of Sport or whatever. You've got, you've got all this technology and these uh, uh, professionals yeah. in all areas, psychological, physical, and everything behind you. Yeah. In Ukraine, True. they don't have it. Uh, the system just might not be might not be there for them. Over. Um, but saying that, she looks like a, a physical girl Nine anyway, and if, mm. if she can put the physical at work in on court, all the rest is supplementary. Yeah, yeah. And if she you know she has a coach that has the know-how, or if she does the research herself, um, which is a big ask, uh, I do, I do know that. But you know the information is there, um, and I hope she can get that support from somewhere. Ten, if she shows enough promise, seven. perhaps, um, mm-hmm. you know, someone she will come along and and offer to take that, take that up. In her early career, I think she was coached by Drushenkov. Okay. Uh, you know, who is playing top level badminton Eight. up to recently. Ten. Well, maybe two or three years ago, yeah. playing in German league up to uh, two or three years ago. Yeah, she's managed to close, uh, you know, a little gap that opened up at the very start of this first half of this first set. There, that's a mouthful. Um, yeah. She managed to close it a little bit, but <laughs> trailing, um, and I'd say errors, um, yeah. kind of um, forced. I wouldn't say they were completely completely cheap, but uh, yeah, just giving a- away a couple of ones that she maybe shouldn't have, but maybe it's pretty understandable um, being in this big arena. She had a poor under 17 Europeans. Ah, didn't we all? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she's only just gone by 17 because she played in the under-17 juniors back in April in uh, Poland. Oh wow! Uh, because we had our Irish boy who won the the boys' oh, singles yeah. in that occasion. Nice. Yeah, Nat. So uh, and and Marina, you know, she certainly had desires to win that, sure. and it didn't quite go her way that week, and she was very very upset and down in the dumps about it. To, uh, you know, I, I was quite excited about that. You know, it, it was she. There's so many kids at that age. They lose a match and they go off and they're laughing and joking 11. behind the scenes. Yeah. She right. was it's distraught. You see that one or two few that are, you know, they really take it hard. Yeah, yeah. And and I'd I'd encourage them to take it seriously, Twelve, but not eight. too seriously yeah, because yeah. they can. Um, kind of take the fun away from mm. it and this is definitely a, a sport or a, uh, certainly a job for me that if you are not enjoying it yeah. it's, it's very it's difficult to, to do it every day if you don't enjoy it um, because it takes so much investment like <sighs> physical, mental uh, just uh, in, in 14, golf your life eight. so if you don't enjoy that then um, yeah, I I encourage them not to take it too seriously, mm. but it's nice that she's taking stock of and reflecting on on her performances at such a young age. It's it's impressive. Fault. That's unfortunate. That was a nice controlled rally from both girls there. Fifteen. But um, eight. Yeah, just the just. A little bit of coordination just with, yeah. with the big haul and, and finding um, finding, well, sounds silly, finding where the shuttle is because it might not necessarily be 
um, exactly where you expect it to be if there's a little bit of drift. But you know, you have this steadiness of the, of the uh, Indian, you know, that senior brain. Yeah. Uh, and it counts for so much experience. It's a word that, uh, you know, people use a lot, but it, it's... Overused it, and undervalued. Y- yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For sure. Nine. I think 15. this, uh, the Indian girl, uh, I think she has a little favourite shot. Yeah. I'm going to call it as a cross-court forehand slice. <laughs> um, Marina's been taking Get a couple of them. A little bit late. She's been getting to them, but been taking them late. I'd like to see her predict a couple of them coming. Try to make the Indian pay for it. Take them early. Get her to move that full diagonal. Worth a mention on court two. <laughs> I can see that. I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> that um, Scottish pair of Finlay and Pringle, my very good friends, are up 11-3. Looking quite comfortable, looking confident, which is really nice to see. They've had some tough draws um, yeah. in recent tournaments coming up against top seeds and things. And in fact, they were drawn if over. they were to get through this match. It would have been against the uh, Afian Salina oh, okay. Netherlands. But um, unfortunately, they've had to pull out um, due to injury, I think. But um, yeah, if if the Scottish girls can get through this one, it will be a, a, lot of, a well-needed confidence boost for them. Mm. I'd really like to see that. 18, 10. You know they've been around a while too. You know, they, you know, they, you know, they now go into the experience category. They're not, yeah. uh, they're not fresh out of juniors anymore or anything like it. So it's, I hate to say it, but time is running out. You know, they, they need to make it. Uh, they need to make a breakthrough at this point, probably in their career. Certainly at the lower end of the circuit level, uh, a good future right. series or international series win. Sure. Would go a long way. They're at that stage where they're losing in three sets That's and over. very tight in third set. Yeah. Eleven, yeah. Um, so I hope that they can just, you know, it's a, it's a matter of a return in the net and a, and a serve out the back. That, that's all it takes to yeah. to swing a game. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm, I hope that the tables start to turn for them, and those games that they're so tightly losing that they'll they'll start winning them um, if they can just tighten up a couple of little things. Service over. So meanwhile, back to our singles. <laughs> yeah. gap is over. Well, big gap. Is big over. gap. Aren't happy. Really controlling. As she has uh, done from the outset in this women's singles. And that was a wild smash from Marina. Yeah. But she's here for the experience. You know, the big hall experience. Yeah. And that's the first game. Easily put away with the backhand net kill from the Indian. Twenty-one eleven. Aaron Tati is First game won by Aaron Dati Pandwani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, very uh, comfortable. Looks like she's just feeling out the hall, <laughs> seeing what's what. Um, and uh, unfortunately, <coughs> Ilan Sky's shots aren't giving her too much trouble. Yeah, yeah. Which I appreciate the safety, but <laughs> it's going to have to take a little bit, uh, you know, something more daring to, to beat this Indian girl. Yeah. And we have some more Scots over on court five. Um, these, this pair is definitely young. We yeah. can class them as youngsters for sure. Um, so this will be great for them to play against. Uh, who have we got? Uh, Linda Effler. Uh, Kaplan and yeah. Effler, yeah. Um, relatively experienced pair. Played a good few tournaments together and with other partners. Um, that will be really good for the, for the young, young Scottish girls to, to take on. Struggling a little bit in the first set, 11-3, but I'm I'm going to put that down to nerves, and see what they can come up with, um, in the second half. As I said, uh, Dmitry Zavadsky, coaching Ilinskaya, packed it in, uh, playing. I remember it was. Ah. Uh, it was around the French International in Orléans, the Orléans. back in whatever that was, uh, March or April, and <coughs> just things weren't going well. He's always been because he had won it the previous year. Yeah. Uh, He's always there in amongst kind of semi-finals, finals. Always, always. Always. And I remember I spoke to him after that, and Second he just said, game? "I just don't enjoy it anymore." Love all. Uh, like I say, you can't do this job Play. if you don't enjoy yeah. it. It's a huge part, so... Tons of travelling, and of course he's married, his wife's at home, and uh, just, it was just too much. Yeah, 
it is there a lot is to, to invest. One lot, so, and with coaching, you can kind of you can choose which ones to a certain extent, which yeah. uh, tournaments you go along to. But when you're a player, you got to do them all. Yep. So, uh, oh, fair play. Um, and I hope uh, Marina can learn a bit from him because he, yeah, he's a very consistent player, a good te- technique. He was always he was always put in the three set scraps. Yeah. He was always in for a long haul when you played Savad. And I always remember, you know, probably yeah. one of his favourite shots was jumping out around the head. <laughs> oh, he was so dangerous. Yeah. For a, I say he's a small guy, but well, compared to you know if he's playing Kukal or something, like yeah, that, he, yeah, anyone's yeah. a small guy. But yeah, he he was a springy player in his day. Oh, it's unlucky. It's over. Perhaps One, if she was hitting the other way, the wind would two. have, would have mm. held that up a little bit. It would just be a matter of absolute centimetres going out the back there. Good win for Rebecca and Caitlin over on court two. First set under the belts. I think I'd be really happy with that. Oh, tight again. Two, just going oh. back on for Marina on court one here. Service over. Three, two. She reminds me a little bit of, uh, certainly stature-wise, physique-wise, the same as uh, Mia Blitchfeld was at that age. Mia is now, I, I think she's pushing 20. She's getting old. Yeah, uh, <laughs> not over. What does that make me? <laughs> oh. Um, but she has that same type of fiery temperament, and uh, when Marina gets going, it gets a little bit vocal. Yeah, not quite Carolina so. level. But it does get vocal. No one is Carolina over. level. <laughs> and that's for sure. The call is this shuttle with two But no, I like that. Seconds. I like that. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It shows confidence and four. Nothing wrong with a good bit of shouting on court. Well, picked that. It's really good defence. Nice. Really uh-huh. good. Did really well to survive that rally. Yeah. Nice Five, safe shots under pressure. Three. Straight in and getting the shuttle up, ready to go again. Not trying to be too cute, just yeah. you've got to get it back. Six, this is good, these are better three. shots, not being so floaty. Yeah. Pushing it into court more and then, you know, there's no chance that the shuttle's going to hold up. You don't have to think, of, you know, you don't have to take into account the net. Good. She's got a really strong dig out from that rear forehand. It's nice that she mm. can just put the power on it, Seven, put it up the line, three. and see what the opponent can do, because there is not much you can do with that long one. <coughs> Service over. Did a bit of variation Seven. that time from the Indian off the serve, going for the soft cross court drop. nice when you see the change of uh, impact on the shuttle. Mm. So there's the clear clips, smashes, slices. Five, and then when someone puts in that seven. slow drop, it kind of catches you off, off guard. I think that kind of separates the, the top players from the next tier. The ability to change the pace during a rally, like in the midst of a rally. It's over. One of Eight, the things, one of the many five. things. Nine yeah, she's uh, pretty content in defense off that serve. She's quite happy to put in the high serve, knowing uh, certainly for the last five or six rallies, the Indian has put in a power smash off the serve, and uh, mostly down the backhand side of Ilinskaya, and that backhand block has been quite effective for the Ukrainian. Over. Yeah, that's the thing. Like Sometimes putting in a high serve Six. isn't the worst Nine. thing because mm-hmm. your opponent is uh, predictable, and you kind of know what's coming. Um, you can almost kind of play ahead of yeah. yourself, put it up there, you know what's going to happen, you can get on with it. Yeah. Um, and often, I'd say a vertical shuttle coming down is the hardest thing to hit properly, <laughs> especially in a huge arena. Um, Service over. You know, any Ten, little slight movement six. of the shuttle and you're going to frame it. Yeah. So it, it, can be, it can be tricky, so nothing wrong with a good big high serve, I'd say. Like that. 
If she has, she has the Indian under pressure just purely off the high serve. Definitely, I like, I like the dimp of that. <coughs> Probably came from the experience of uh, Zavadzki. Definitely. At the interval between the two, two sets. Yeah, I'd hope that would be in his uh, in what he's saying to her right mm. now. I think that's been a key part in the last three points. I think that's been really quite key to her success. And other than that, I think playing kind of deeper into court. Court I think one is, is, twenty um, seconds. Court one twenty. It's pretty important here, past that front service line, so that the Indian girl can't step up <coughs> and play really tight net shots. I think would maybe be perhaps the way I would. Mm. 11-6. Play. Punch cleared this time. Yeah, see it's not From coming straight oh. down. Yeah. Service and once over. you put that punch clear in, it opens up the front court. 7-11. Exactly what she went for there. <coughs> They're toying with each other with the with the high serves now. <laughs> <laughs> give Eight. each other a taste of the Eleven. Medicine. Change it. That straight reverse from Milan Sky is just a little bit lacking in terms of, you know, I its pace. Yeah. Easy for the Indian to deal with. There either has to be more disguise or more yeah. pace. Mm. One, or, one or the other. <coughs> On the high serve, she seems to be doing okay with the with the length, hitting the way that she's hitting uh, Ilanskaya. But um, on clear, she's she's missed a couple. She's just overshot a couple. Really nice, really nice and early. Twelve. And certainly, nine. that's a feature of her. You know, she's an athlete. She's got the you know she's got the the build of a real athlete, so she can come forward really, really quick. Definitely. It's nice to see that as well. Some aggression at the net. Uh, yeah. That's unfortunate. Clipped the frame there. If she'd gotten a, a good rack into that, maybe she could have got it over. 10, 12. <coughs> Stepping away from it as she played 12. the net. She almost looked like she was thinking about the next shot. Yeah, she forgot, almost, forgot yeah. Forgot to think about the one that she was playing <laughs> in the moment. It'd be a very, very easy game if there was no net. <laughs> oh, you tell me. <laughs> that was nice and early. No, um, Twelve no disguise oh. on that cross net. You, uh, you knew it was coming. And you can do nothing about it because she was so early. There's no need to pretend you're playing yeah. a, straight, uh, a straight net. All she had to do was just place it across the net. There was no way Elin Sky was going to get near it. Yeah. Oh, uh, that looked like it was heading out to me. Possibly, <laughs> but uh, we'll take well. it. Well, she'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> she'll take it. <laughs> Play. Nice, really good, really good. Nice follow up after that clip 14, down. Not a huge amount of 12. power on it, but good placement just Anything out of reach. Please? So the Indian had to do something and it just popped up and it was ripe for the net kill. There's that cross over. forehand slice 13, that she likes so much. 14. Like I say, I hope she doesn't get caught with any more of them. Because uh, they've been a regular feature. Stop putting your hand up. Just be ready to play. Okay. That was certainly short. Mm. Easy smash winner. Yeah, almost oh. got the racket to it, but just uh, 
I was seeing it a little bit too late. Really nice power. Nice positive shots coming out of that forehand uh, rear from Ilanskaya. Yeah, she just it. didn't get the length and it went round the head yeah. there and just yeah. opened herself 15, up for that cross 14. court, unfortunately. Really nice speed. Service over. She was really, really in control of that rally. Um, even oh. went towards the body. Super, again, super safe. But what can the Indian do? Can't get it away. Can't get the angle. And she was able to capitalise on the on the follow up one. Would you which tie is the them and make one. sure they stay tied, please? And that's, I think, the last three points that uh, Marina has won back from the Indian. You know, uh, Aaron Hatty is. Oh, can I just tie my lace? Oh. Can yeah. I just, yeah, yeah, a little bit of senior knowledge and know-how, just yeah. try and upset the rhythm of oh her opponent. Yeah, they're mm. they're important, um, and it is that knowledge that is not the in rally knowledge. It's over. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, the, it's the playing the game. Yeah. Sixteen oh. This has been a much better set. She looks more confident, um, mm. Marina, in this set. I don't know if that's a change of ends or ah, unfortunate, um, or just yeah, generally being on the court, shaking off some nerves, maybe. Sometimes, certainly, from the few uh, from the games that I've seen Marina play, if she when she gets herself into gets herself into a situation as she does in a match in a game like this. You know, when it, at the business end, 16 all, 17 all, she 18, tends to want to go and win it too quickly then for the last few points. Yeah, it's definitely something she'll learn over time. To, uh, the things that you've been doing have gotten you this far. <laughs> yeah. Don't change them. Um, but well, um, well, well left. Yeah, well left. Or was she just <laughs> well done. Personal safety. <laughs> Was matrixed her way out of that one. Yeah. Um, yeah. I hope she can uh, just control it because obviously the pressure is on the uh, the ending girl. She's the oh. higher ranked. Yeah, yeah, by far. Yeah. Higher ranked over. player. Nineteen. Seventeen. I always like being the underdog. It's happened a lot less uh, in recent times, but it's. You know, this season for Ilan Sky is if effectively you know an introduction uh, yeah. to senior badminton. Sure. Oh, that's nice. 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 Tight. Um, 18, but 19. You know, as long as maybe she didn't mean it to be that tight. <laughs> Again, the Indian was one of these players, you know, during the Olympic qualification year, disappeared. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, because there was really nothing to play for. Unfortunate. I think um, she's, a m she's much more confident on her forehands. Uh, yeah. Agreed. Yeah, Ukrainian. Mm. Service over. That round the head, she's made a couple of errors, not been as solid, 18. not been as strong from in there. So match point. Match point. Oh, oh it's unfortunate. Game. Very unfortunate for Ilan Sky. Yeah, good speed uh, coming forward. Did all the hard work in that rally. Yeah. Losing a 21 in a better second game. I think she can go away and uh, learn a lot from that game. Uh, still, match one. you know. By As I said, put it on 17 juniors back in April, so uh, still 17 years of age and a uh, lot to learn for the young Ukrainian. But it's uh, the Indian who proceeds to the next round, winning 21-11, 21-18. I know, Kirsty, you're heading off. Uh, and thank you once again for joining us. I am indeed, no problem. And uh, the next match on court will be another women's singles and another Indian, Tanvi Ladd. A little bit easier to pronounce. Yes. Against Fabian de Prez, a player who you know a lot from your junior days, and uh, that match will be coming up very shortly. Until then, goodbye. Goodbye.